Hey, I don't know what it is, but one project always leads to the next, to the next, to the next around here. Go to use my, uh, go to use my planer here, and she's all rusted up from being out here. All the condensation, you know, going warm to cold, warm to cold. It'll be nice when this thing's finally, uh, it'll be really nice when we can insulate this whole thing and keep it heated all the time. But, so, I've got to clean this up. Planer like this, hand plane, it's not going <laughs> to, it's not going to work very nice for you all rusted up. That'll just drag and then it stains the wood. It's just no good. So I just take, uh, I just take some emery cloth, clean it off, and then hit it with a stone. I did this side with the emery cloth. That's a lot better, but you got to have these things glide and smooth. Otherwise, they kind of suck to work with. Shameful to have tools like this rusting up on you, and, but it's the nature of it. I just hate using a hand plane that drags. It really, believe it or not, it really makes the work kind of go slow and lethargic, and it just kind of irritates you the whole time. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this already. I didn't think we'd get into a hand tool repair video on this. Well, that's a lot better, but we're not done yet. My DMT medium, got my Smith course. Surprised the uh, blade's not all rusted up on it. Let's hit the most important part first. I like diamond stones quite a bit, but some things you need to be aware of when you're using one. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on these things to get them to work for you. If you're sitting there forcing it, you're going to wear this thing out really fast. That takes a lot off pretty quick though. Oh, do I have anything besides my pants to wipe stuff on? Nope. Well, well we have a Carhartt too. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. This definitely has some spots that need some work. I just wanted to get a 10 and fit tonight. Right, here we are. I think every dedicated woodworking channel, which we are not a dedicated woodworking channel, I have ever seen has a hand plane restoration video. Every single one. It seems to be the, the uh, woodworker's go-to video, but I'm not going to tell you how to do it because I'll probably do it all wrong. But well, boy, some of these guys do some really nice, do a nice job on them. No, get another sleeve. Now, I'm not going to get a mirror finish on this thing tonight, not even worried about that. I just want to get a tenon fit. 
Yeah, attempt number one. Jeez, not too bad. Not too bad. We got to take a little bit off towards the uh, right in here. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to <laughs> sand all this. Which I will anyway, because we're going to put a finish on this. Might just be polyurethane or something, but definitely going to put a finish on it. My phone rang. Right mid-sentence talking to you guys. Apparently we have a wall pump to work on this weekend. Yeah, we're not missing by much on this fit. Now the first attempt she almost went all the way. So let's see what we can do on the second. I mean she's right there. Now I'm test fitting from the top because I'm more concerned with a really tight fit on top. Of course my luck I never quite get it just right. I try my damnedest. If I'm using nothing but power tools, I can usually do it. So let's see if we get the thunk. Almost. Now, I'm going to be very tempted at this point to beat the snot out of this piece of wood to get it in there. Don't do it. <laughs> that would be one of the worst things you could do because this wood's fairly dry and it would be very, very easy to split that wood. When I'm doing something like this, I mean, you want good snug fits, but you keep in mind you're not working with green timber or green lumber. It's going to be a lot easier to split that thing off. I like using hand tools to do stuff like this. Because a lot of times with power tools, for me anyway, I always have a tendency to take stuff right to the line. And if I have to make an adjustment, it's not always easy to. Feel one more high spot chisel. Now let's try it again. Here's my hands are filthy, filthy from taking care of that planer. Let's see if she goes. What the hell are you catching on? Well, I guess I could flip it over and see. See if it's in my mortise. Yeah, I'm definitely going to want to get that epoxy to hit this side. 
It is a, uh, it's like a penetrating epoxy and it soaks into wood and it makes, it makes punky wood really strong again. Um, I've seen, I've seen guys using it here and there. Well, not too shabby, not a hundred percent beautiful, but it's not too bad. We can make our adjustments. It's not too bad, guys. Not too bad at all. Have to do a little bit of adjusting on that leg. Kind of want a nice tight fit. Let's see if I could flop the whole thing. Well, that's not quite as tight up there as I'd like to see it. But I'm also going to have a, of course I've got that chamfered edge, that's a lot of that. But we got to cut a housing in the bottom, we'll do a half inch housing. And that'll, should tighten that right up. best fit though but that's all right by the time we get done sanding all that good stuff and we get that top trimmed down we'll see how she goes we'll back you up a little bit now well, well there's one Yeah, it looks like I dished my tenon just a little bit right there. Got a little too happy with the chisel. But the part I like. It comes apart fairly easy. Now we're going to label this number one. Because this one is fit. We'll label that number one. Now there's one done at least. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know how many how many videos we're gonna do on this simple planer stand. Um, you guys see so many videos per project because I, this is more of a uh, I kind of hate the word vlog, but that's kind of what this channel is. It's more of a daily update channel. And what we do if you're if you're new to it, one of the new viewers, once I get this done. I'll kind of go through all the videos, pull the best footage, and we'll kind of do a compilation video, an overview of this build. So if you're watching, you know, it kind of, uh, unless you're a, a fan of the channel and you don't mind listening to me yak on every night, you know, it could get very, it could get old watching, you know, this, this daily repetition of, gee, you only got a couple things done. You got to understand a lot of channels you watch when you see a build from start to finish. Sometimes it may take them months on that build and they're working on other stuff in between because a lot of those channels, they're bigger channels and they, uh, they have the time to dedicate just to video making and their projects. I don't. I do the full time job, the family, the farm. This kind of this kind of comes at the end of the day, end of the evening. I don't, a lot of nights I don't get out here sometimes till 9 o'clock and I'm only getting a couple of hours in. And then I'm going inside and editing till God knows when. But uh, the new upload schedule is helping with that a lot. 
But um, anyway, we're just going to keep chugging on this thing. We have one leg fit, we've got to cut a housing, then we can do a final fit on it. Because I have these, uh, these 10 inch shoulders, we'll have to trim a little bit. Get those a little better on there. I, I want it nice and tight by the time it uh, meets up with the bottom there. Um, but anyway, that's where we're at. We're, we're in decent shape. So you guys have a good night and we'll see what the next one brings.